Hello, my name is Harley Maxwell. I'm from Lawrence County High School and I'm in the 10th grade. Today I'll be presenting to you my interpersonal communication level two project. My project is called Their World, Our Hands. Let's get started. What is nonverbal communication? Nonverbal communication is any form of communication that does not involve any speech or noise. More specifically, American Sign Language, which we'll go, in, uh, which we'll go over in the next slide. There are four main types of nonverbal communication. Eye behaviors, face displays, hand gestures, and movements. What is American Sign Language? American Sign Language is a complete language with the same idealistic composition of spoken languages with grammar that differs from English. ASL is the primary language of North Americans who have communication disabilities. Identifying concerns. My main concern that encouraged me to start my project was that although it may feel like we're advancing so well in our world, we're leaving many people with communication disabilities behind. Imagine being deaf in a world where everyone else is talking. You can only communicate with your hands or electronics. But imagine if electronics went down, we would have no way to communicate with them. That's why I believe that we should learn basic sign language so we all have a way to communicate and bring those people forward in opportunities. My goal. My overall goal was to spread common knowledge of ASL so that we can incorporate more of the lacking hearing and speech community. But because of the pandemic, I also wanted to make sure that we follow COVID CDC guidelines. Forming the plan. My, the idea started with the club, which originally we would have loved to meet in person, but because of the pandemic, we couldn't. So we decided to split between in-person and online meetings. We do Google Meets because they're easier to join and almost everyone at my school has a Gmail account. Acting out the plan. It took a few weeks to get everything okay, but by the time we did, we were ready to have our first meeting. We had our first meeting on January the 18th, and we plan our second for the February the 11th. At the second meeting is where we really get to know each other. We decided we would have a little sleepover called a sign and dine with our club. Since it was all girls, we were able to have it at my house and we had a little sleepover where we ate pizza and played fun sign language games. Their world, our hands. This is the name of my club that I started at my high school and these are the people who are in the club. This is us on pajama day where we learned our first sign. I love you. This is our logo, their world, our hands, is what it says, and that's our first sign we learned, so that's why we put it on there. Teaching the basics. I first started with a children's program at the high school so that students who get off the bus here in the afternoon can come learn with us. So when we have our meetings, some of the teacher's children will come to our room and we learn together. This is me teaching a te teacher's student how to do the I love you sign. This is me on a Google Meet with some classes at the middle school and elementary school teaching them some basic signs also. Follow up. After we had our first meeting on Google Meet, we were able to start learning some basics. We, needed to, we decided to start a group chat so that we could communicate more effectively with each other. I have plans to get in contact with the middle school guidance counselor so that maybe we can start up a small program there. Who's affected by my project? My project affects anyone. If you are hearing able or communication able, you can be affected too. If you learn this and you can help other people to be able to have opportunities that we have as the hearing able, that's so great. That changes the world so much. Sign and dine. This is a logo we made for sign and dine. And then here is a picture of us at the sign and dine sleepover. How does, my, how does my project reflect family and consumer science? Well, my project reflects family and consumer science standards 13.3.4. Analyze strategies, strategies to overcome communication barriers in family, career, community, and work settings. How does my project relate to FCCLA? My project relates to FCCLA through the application of communication skills used in my project which can be applied anywhere in life, through work, through school, through your future, anything.
evaluator questions. Thank you for your time. What is one skill that you learned or improved upon during your project that you will use in your school next year or your future career? I learned that you should understand that not everyone is willing to comply with your standards. You should be able to communicate with everyone in your group willingly, not just because you have to. I learned that meeting together made us closer, so we had more meets online. Although it wasn't as good as being able to meet in person, it still worked. And we got close, so we communicate very well together now. What obstacles caused challenges in your work, and how did you address them? Throughout my project, my number one concern was keeping everyone who was in the club safe. We wanted to be safe no matter what, so we made sure that we did everything appropriately and followed all the guidelines we could possibly find. Thank you for your time. I hope you enjoyed my project.